Hey, my name is uh, Goretti Semakula. I'm a principal research officer in charge of sweet potato breeding at the National Crops Research Resources Institute. My paper is telling people about the use of orange fleshed sweet potato. It's about uh, development and uh, deployment of orange sweet potatoes for alleviation of vitamin A. As you know, vitamin A Vitamin A deficiency is a rampant problem in Sub-Saharan Africa. We have more than 43 million people that are vitamin A deficient. Using staples that are biofortified is a cheap way of alleviating vitamin A. You know that the sources of vitamin A that are available on the market are very expensive, like liver. The rural people cannot afford that. So we decided to go to use a food-based approach to fight malnutrition, that is using foods that are eaten almost every day, like sweet potato. So orange fresh sweet potato is uh, fortified with vitamin A, and once it is fortified, and uh, we breed it, and we put the good attributes, like dry matter, because what we imported was not good, it wasn't well adapted to Africa. Orange fresh sweet potato is not indigenous. We have very few varieties that are orange fresh. So we had to import from outside Africa and we brought them here, but they were not adapted. For example, they were not adapted to the consumer characteristics. They were susceptible to many diseases and pests of sweet potato. So we had to take them through a breeding process to make sure we get varieties that are well suited to the growth and consumption patterns of the people in Uganda. So far we have developed nine varieties and uh, these varieties have high dry matter that people like and uh, they have high yields and they are fairly resistant to pests and diseases. SPVD, that is sweet potato virus disease, is the most important disease we are considering. So our target are children under the age of five. We have used partners, uh, community-based partners, to multiply, disseminate, and promote orange-fleshed sweet potato. So right now there is a high demand because farmers and other end users have realized the benefits of consuming orange-fleshed sweet potato. The Ugandan uh, commercial farmer should adopt our research findings because it provides market outside there. If the research findings, as I said, OFSP is good and there is demand for it, then he should take up, for example, multiplication of the vines. He will find market because farmers are out there willing to buy them and consumers are ready to consume the sweet potatoes. According to the UBOS uh, surveys, about 23 to 25 children or percent children in Uganda are affected. So we need to address this. And uh, vitamin A deficiency affects immunity. And uh, given the scenario that we even have another factor that is also reducing immunity, like HIV, OFSP comes in handy to boost immunity especially among the HIV orphaned children. Okay, originally the first varieties we introduced, as I said, they were not adapted to consumption patterns. They had low dry matter and farmers prefer high dry matter content varieties. So we had to go back to the board and uh, crossed these varieties with our high dry matter varieties that are adapted to the consumption patterns of Uganda and when we did this we were able to get high dry matter orange fleshed sweet potato varieties that are now preferred. I will mention a particular case of uh, Kakamega, it's a very preferred variety, a Jumula is very good and uh, Naspot 8. Those are the ones with highest dry matter content. But as I said our target is mainly children under the age of five. There is a missing link. 
First, our extension is dead. Our traditional extension is dead. Two, the extension messages that we give are not taken as a package. You give a farmer a variety and you tell him to use a particular spacing, particular practice, and he just takes up the variety and grows it the traditional way he does. So you find that he doesn't perform to the expectation and he blames it to the variety other than blaming it to the practices he uses. So there are two major factors. The extension is not functional and then the, the, probably the packaging. The messages are not taken in a package. You see, when you release a variety and take it out there, you need to take it as a package, not just as a variety. You take it along with agronomic practices, how to plant it, how to harvest, how to maintain it while it is in the field, and how to do post-harvest handling. This remedy by the farmers, they should take up technologies as a package and they should follow the recommended practices. And then the second one we need to get tighter linkages, those traditional linkages that were there before with extension. We need to work together while packaging the information and they need to really understand this information before taking it down to the farm. And they need to be more active. Extension is not active. We find that NARO is even doing part of the extension work. Hey, today I'm presenting, and I'm presenting about orange-fleshed sweet potato. One of the promotional activities we use is a dressing orange, uh, using the orange color to depict vitamin A. So I'm just trying to show, to tell you that you should eat orange fresh sweet potato for better health.